Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the tropical paradise of the Catalonia Riviera Maya Resort. We just got back from a seven day vacation and I wanted to share our experiences with you. Whether you're planning your next vacation or just curious about this destination, you're in for a treat. Stick around for some insider tips that will make sure your stay is even more enjoyable. This resort is nestled along the stunning Riviera Maya. The hotel is located in the wonderful Porta Adventures development. This is a tourist development which boasts a marina for yachts, a golf course, restaurants, and even dolphin tanks. All within an easy 10 to 15 minute walk from the resort itself. We booked our trip through WestJet vacations, which included flights, transportation to and from the resort, and a seven day vacation package. Our travel agent recommended upgrading to privilege status, and we were sure glad that we did. When you stay in any of the privileged rooms, you enjoy all the benefits of being a privileged guest. These include 24 hour room service, early check in upon arrival, and late check in, subject to availability one access per person to the water area of the Allegra Spa, and best of all, access to the exclusive area for privileged clients of the resort. Among them, exclusive access to the private beach area, private bar, and access to the privileged pool, and also the exclusive beloved restaurant. In this restaurant, you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner a la carte. The resort has two buffet restaurants with breakfast, lunch, and dinner service. Breakfast and lunch are buffet only unless you upgrade to the privilege status, which our travel agent had done for us in advance. So we had the, also had the option to eat at the beloved restaurant. The buffet was good in my opinion. Every buffet meal, I found lots of variety and options, and I seriously could have eaten an omelet for every single breakfast. There are five themed dinner restaurants. Mexican, which you can see here, Italian, fantastic view, Japanese with show cooking on tupanyuki tables, and the steakhouse and grill restaurant. These four restaurants require reservations using the resort's app. The bookings open at 8 a.m. each day. You'll need to make your reservation probably within 10 minutes to secure a table for that night. I really enjoyed the dinners and found the food delicious. I really appreciated that they were very accommodating with my gluten restrictions and I had choices at every restaurant. At the Japanese restaurant, I even got the biggest serving of dinner as my meal was prepared in the kitchen in order to be gluten free. And then there's the Catalina Burger restaurant, ideal if hamburgers are your thing, which my husband loves. It saved us one night when the Mexican restaurant did not quite live up to our expectations. Here's what I had, my burger option. On the other hand, throughout the day, you'll find places where you can eat whatever you want near the five swimming pools. The buffet is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's the tropical fruit juice at the Mula Bar, a delicious salty sweet crepe, milkshake or ice cream at the Creperie, and your favorite cocktails at the Two Summit Bars, or a Italian sausage sandwich at the food truck. The guys really like this one. There's not much of a beach, so you might find that a little disappointing, but the five pools are great temperature and snorkeling in the swimming area was very good. So I felt that that makes up for the lack of beach. It's quite rocky getting into the ocean, so be careful or make sure to wear water shoes. We brought our own snorkeling equipment, so we did not need to borrow from the resort, but it's nice that they provide that option to their guests. It's a unique beach area, but it's actually ideal because there aren't any huge waves or rips to worry about. Plus, the fish are With awesome. With the pools, we love the variety of sizes and happenings in each pool. Riviera side had one smaller pool with a swim-up bar and one large pool where all the activities took place. Yucatan side had one pool with a volleyball net and the largest of all the pools that had a swim-up bar. Privileged pool was smaller and nice and calm. The resort itself was very clean and had a great atmosphere. The grounds were well kept and beautifully landscaped with palm trees and flowering bushes. I was impressed to see the staff were constantly cleaning, including the pools. There seemed to be an abundance of staff for every function and the service staff were amazing. We enjoyed the beautiful surroundings. You might be caught off guard when first seeing the cute little agouti around the grounds. They were not pests and they didn't seem to bother anyone. 
Our bedroom had gray blackout curtains and the AC worked perfectly. We were on the first floor, which can be noisier, but we were tucked into a corner so we found that it was really quiet. On the other hand, our friend's room was located near a busy passageway, so there was cleaning carts going past their door and they found it quite noisy early in the morning. In our bedroom, I loved the rainfall shower, the bathrobes, stocked mini bar, the outside rack to hang our bathing suits, light up makeup mirror, and the maid's creative towel animals. Another thing to mention, the Wi-Fi worked great throughout the entire resort. Now let's dive into some vacationing tips that will enhance your Catalonia Riviera experience. Don't forget to pack your sunscreen and wear it. Wear it 100% of the time. Then reapply your sunscreen every two hours. You will still come home with a great tan. Bring at least two swimsuits and because the beach is rocky, some good water shoes. If you do forget to pack them, the resort does have a few stores that will sell water shoes. Thermos Bubba Cups work great to keep your drinks cold all day. I use mine for cold water and ice to keep hydrated. I'll put a link to my favorite cup in the video description below. Bring your own snorkel and mask, just my personal preference. Just like every other resort I've gone to, the lounge chairs by the pool and on the beach were reserved by 8.30 or 9 a.m. each morning. So luckily we had some early rising friends who were willing to get up and reserve chairs so we could always be together. Some things to note, the bars do not open until 11 a.m., even for non-alcoholic drinks. I'm not a drinker, but I received excellent service at every bar. The bartenders made all my drinks non-alcoholic with lots of variety, and I think I tried all the different margarita flavors that were possible. There are minimal activities during the day and not many activities for kids, but I don't have any children anymore. I lounge by the pool, read a book, go for a swim, get a drink at the bar, and lounge again. That's the type of girl I am, so I'm not looking for activities or daytime entertainment. There always is evening entertainment, and the one show we did go see was Moana, and I thought they did a great job in performing that. Sang along, loved every minute. There's always other entertainment that the resort's trying to do because it gets dark in Mexico and when it gets dark, the pools close. And so you need to find things to do to keep yourself busy. One place we found was the sports bar and in there we decided to watch a game of hockey, play some cards, but a side note, the <laughs> peanuts that they serve you are not gluten-free. The sports bar later on became extremely busy and it was great to see a place where you could go to at night and still hang out. This was one of our places we like to play cards. Do not get night. sucked into the exclusive travel club presentation. It's a non-timeshare, timeshare presentation. At the end of your trip, you'll be asked to pay the following charges at the property. It's a tax imposed by the city per accommodation per night. Just an FYI. Reservations are required for golf tea times, massage services, and spa treatments. We really enjoyed the hydrotherapy pool experience, which is included in the privilege package. The resort isn't big, it's just right. It was clean, safe, beautiful. The staff were fantastic. I personally enjoyed the smaller size of this resort. This place doesn't have a water park. There's no rave foam parties. If that's what you want, then book somewhere else. I hope this review and these vacationing tips helped you plan an incredible getaway. If you've been to this resort, share your experiences in the comments below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more travel tips and reviews. Until next time, happy travels.